Hello and welcome to another roundup of a dozen books with the word Duke in the title to add to your TBR. I'm Olivia, your favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot, and you're watching Random Olive Reads. First up is Lady Saves the Duke by Annabelle Anders, which is book three of the Lord Love a Lady series. Abigail and Alex somehow get stuck in a boat together during a house party where Abigail suffers a scandalous wardrobe malfunction. Alex, being the upstanding duke that he is, offers her marriage. Seeing no other opportunities to get out of her negligent parents' house, she agrees. Alex aims for a practical arrangement, but they certainly get to know each other as they travel towards his country home. Both Alex and Abigail have suffered terrible hardships in the past, and sharing them with each other strengthens their bond. How the Duke Was Won by Lenora Bell is book one of the Disgraceful Dukes series. Charlene Beckett is the illegitimate daughter of a courtesan and an earl paid by the Countess to impersonate her half-sister, Lady Dorothea, in a bid to win the Duke of Harlan's affections. James, the Duke, was the second son and unexpected heir. Now he's looking for a society wife. To help search for his new wife, James invites four ladies to visit his estate for a few days. Although he's not interested in falling in love, or lust, with any of them, he can't help but be drawn to Lady Dorothea, who is actually Charlene. And while Charlene is determined to win James's affections for her sister and her payment from the Countess, she starts to have feelings for him and feel guilty for the deception. How to Love a Duke in 10 Days by Kerrigan Byrne is book one of the Devil You Know series. We start with a tragic prologue where Alexandra is attacked by her school headmaster, defends herself, and then needs her friends to assist her in covering things up. To help her feel better, her two best friends reveal their own tragic secrets. As expected, the two friends will make up the main characters of future books in the series. Chapter 1 starts 10 years later when she's on her way to a Duke's masquerade ball where her friend is supposed to be announced as his fiancé. What follows is a series of near-death experiences, blackmail, family destitution, and a fearful pull that Alexandra has towards her friend's intended peers. Don't worry, though, her friend is not at all in love with him, and it was a marriage contract for many years past. When she finds out about the allowance that the future duchess will receive, she proposes that the duke marry her instead of her friend. And then we have even more drama with Pierce's backstory and his family and being scarred and ditched by his previous fiance, etc. These two people have their own reasons for not trusting one another, but somehow they feel safe and protected when they're together. Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare is book one of the Castles Ever After series. Izzy is living in destitute times after her writer father passes away without leaving any money, so she is happy to inherit a castle so that it, she at least has some place to live. When she gets there, the castle is already occupied by the scarred and blind grump of a duke, Ransom. They'll need to work out who truly has ownership of the place. To Love a Scandalous Duke by Liana De La Rosa is book one of the Once Upon a Scandal series. Childhood friends who were separated by tragic circumstances and maybe a little family betrayal are reunited here. Declan has returned to England after being sent away for the past 12 years following the tragic death of his father. Upon his return, he finds out that his brother has died and he is now the Duke. Lady Alethea is the daughter of an Earl, Declan's childhood neighbor and friend, and is instantly drawn to Declan again, despite his hurtful ac accusations about her father before he left the country. Now there's a little bit of mystery here between the two families, with Declan's father being blamed for a huge financial scandal before killing himself, and then Declan's older brother dying under suspicious circumstances. While Declan is trying to uncover the truth, he's constantly distracted by Alethea's presence. Alethea is mostly just trying to assert her independence, not believing her own father capable of all of these misdeeds. Much Ado About Dukes by Eva Devon is book two of the Never a Wallflower series. Two fiery and independent people agree on their political aspirations, but William wants nothing to do with passion or love. Beatrice needs the Duke's support for her political endeavors, so she continues to seek him out. They are thrown together when his brother wants to marry her cousin, and they kind of begrudgingly strike up a friendship. 
When she finds out that her uncle has lost all her money, he proposes a marriage of convenience to help her situation. Tall Duke and Dangerous by Megan Frampton is book two of the Hazards of Duke series. I read this book a while ago. All I remember is that there is a grumpy duke giving self-defense lessons to a feisty lady, and then they fall in love. But really, what more do you need to know? While the Duke Was Sleeping by Sophie Jordan is book one of the Rogue Files series. Poppy is a worker in a flower shop who is smitten with one of the regular customers, even though the Duke doesn't pay her much attention. When she sees him fighting in the street with another man and doesn't see an oncoming carriage, she pushes him out of the way and saves his life, but also renders him unconscious. There's some sort of mix-up and she's assumed to be his fiancé at some point. The man he was fighting with turns out to be the Duke's illegitimate half-brother, Struan, who the Duke refuses to acknowledge. Struan's a little bit skeptical that Poppy is in- actually engaged to the, the Duke, but he still at least thinks that she's his mistress. The Duke's household and family are overjoyed to meet Poppy and enthusiastically welcome her to the family, causing her to feel even more guilty about the deception. Throughout all of this, Struan both antagonizes her and also pursues her, and she both likes it and rejects him. Even though she isn't truly engaged to the Duke, she still isn't free to pursue Struan, who isn't offering anything honorable anyway, but still really entertaining to read. Dare to Love a Duke by Eva Lee is a book three of the London Underground series. We have our newly inherited duke still mourning his father, but dealing with some new responsibilities. Knowing that he has to protect his mother and sister's reputations, he'll have to stop going to flirt with the proprietress of the sex club that he frequents. After he spends one last night with her, he finds out that his father is actually secretly the owner of the club, and he needs to decide whether to keep it open or shut it down. Dancing with the Duke by Susanna Medeiros is the prequel novella of the Landing Lord series. Alex has promised his sister and mother that he would dance with his sister's friend Charlotte at her first ball. When he sees her for the first time in many years, he finds a beautiful woman in place of the awkward gangly teen who had had a crush on him before. He's surprised that he's so attracted to her and tries to avoid her after that ball, but as he keeps crossing paths with her, he can't seem to resist. This one's a pretty quick, low angst story. Her Night with the Duke by Diana Quincy is book one of the Clandestine Affairs series. Two strangers meet at an inn and hook up and go about their merry way. He's a duke who's going to meet his soon-to-be fiancé, so he gets there and meets the girl's family, and her stepmother is the woman that he spent the night with at an inn. Talk about awkward. They eventually agree never to bring it up again, and everyone tries to do the honorable thing, but the attraction obviously is still there, and we're waiting to see how it breaks through. Accidentally Compromising the Duke by Stacey Reed is book one of the Wedded by Scandal series. Adeline is trying to escape a betrothal to someone her parents picked out, so she tries to sneak into the room of her chosen groom and get caught there. Except her friend sent her to the wrong room. She sent her to the room of some unsuspecting Duke and she gets caught with him instead. Ever so honorable, Edmund proposes marriage and kind of just hopes for the best. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you've picked out a couple books to add to your TBR. Links to all of these books are in the description box. Like and subscribe to get updates, and you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.